was we used to think that dopamine was about pleasure. Somebody touches your skin real nice, you eat some chocolate ice cream, it fires off some dopamine in your brain, and you go, yeah, I like that. It turns out that this dopamine thing goes much deeper than that, much deeper. Important. What dopamine really is, is it's the what's important filter. The beginning, it's the same for everybody. Getting food, being connected to other people, uh, all that stuff. But once you start to individuate, once you start to say, well, who am I on this? Now, what fires off dopamine for one person doesn't necessarily do it for another. As you begin to individuate, this guy here that's firing off this dopamine for you, this is what's telling you what you're interested in. Well, some people are interested in science more. Some people are more art people. Some people are more sports people. I don't know. Some people are more literature. I don't know what that is. But that's kind of like your job at this point is to figure out where your interests are. Where is your juice? But so when I come that. here and I do this teaching, it fires off dopamine for me. And they pay me for it. Okay? It's called getting a life. All right? That's what you're looking for during this 12 to 18 time is to figure out what makes you feel alive. Where is your juice? Where is your interest? Where is this dopamine thing for you? Okay, here's where drugs come into it. Instead of this happening, somebody comes along. Let's see if this green works good here. And so, oh, this is better. And says, here, smoke a little of this. Tetrahydrocannabinol, the active ingredient in marijuana. Or here, drink a little of this. Alcohol. And I'll stop there for the wow. time being. Now, here's where things get very interesting because if you look around the room, everybody's face is different. Everybody's face is different, okay? And not only is everybody's face different, everybody's brain is different. You get your brain, your face, all this stuff from your biological mother and father, and they get it from their biological mother and father all the way back, okay? So when we come here into this room, everybody has a different face, and everybody has a different brain. So, you bring alcohol and weed in here, some people are sitting with a brain where they go, what are you, crazy? Why would I want to do that to my brain? And they don't drink or smoke, and they're not interested in it, okay. Some people get born with a brain where they're curious, and they smoke weed, and they get paranoid. They don't smoke weed after that. Or they drink alcohol, and they get real sick and throw up and have a hangover the next day, and they don't drink anymore, okay. Some people get born with a brain where they smoke weed, and their brain does this. Huh, this person says, hey, that's not bad. I kind of like that. Maybe I'll do it again sometime, okay? And we got all these gradations of brains, and there's some people that are sitting in here with a brain that when they smoke weed, it does this. What we used to say in the Bronx, but a bing. It fires off a whole bunch of dopamine. Now, this is a very interesting experience here. Picture uh, uh, a ninth grade girl smoke some weed, and she's got the kind of brain where it fires off a whole bunch of dopamine, okay? <clears throat> I don't care what her parents say. I don't care what her friends say. I don't care what anybody says. What this girl's brain says is, ooh, this good, this very good, this important, this like mother's milk, okay? That's, that's the message that, the, that she's getting in the brain. And then after that, then you can give a whole diet. Oh, not only that, but it just got legalized. And it's a medicine, and it's an herb, and on and on and on, okay. So I wanna say a couple of things about this experience. To have a bunch of dopamine fire off in your brain, in my opinion, is a good thing. I hope everybody gets a chance stepping onto a lacrosse court, going, yeah, right? Or, or, or reading a piece of literature, or maybe learning about this stuff here. You want to figure out what in here fires off dopamine for me. That's your job at this point. 